Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is another update of the new CNC table uh, documentation and uh, this is actually my first go at uh, lasering paint off a PCB board and uh, well, that's exactly what this thing is doing here right now although I think you can't really see a lot of it um, yeah, but this isn't working. Um, I actually put a uh, bit of Kapton tape over the lens of this camera, so I apologize for the blurry image, but I didn't want to um, kill the sensor because uh, that wouldn't have been so nice. Um, what the thing is doing right now is um, it's actually placing very small holes um, where, um, where drill holes are supposed to be later and uh, it's working quite nice uh, I can actually see every time the red light lights up um, the lasers activate it I built this power supply here and uh, it's a very simple thing basically it's a power regulator or a vo voltage regulator um, below the heatsink and a chain of diodes and each and every diode lowers the uh, supply voltage by 0 0.7 volts it's very simple but for a start it's good enough and it gives me the uh, capability of uh, uh, getting the uh, laser power a bit down it's probably good for the laser um, I didn't actually do a lot more than that I just uh, mounted the uh, laser part on here and uh, I adjusted the, the beam and uh, I did some preliminary tests um, of the laser um, tried to cut out some things and uh, that worked quite well it actually cuts very deep you can really take this off it's a, it's a very nice result um, you can't see really see a lot here um, except for the flashes when the uh, paint is burned off from the board. I did some early tests with this uh, yesterday and earlier today and uh, it seems that the uh, laser is actually removing a very very thin line of paint from the uh, PCB and you can actually see the copper shining through it just the tiniest bit and uh, I'm gonna let this work its way through and when I'm done or when it's done I'm gonna put it in the in the etchant and then just let's see what happens I have no idea how long this is going to take uh, it might well be a couple of hours so that's why I lowered the uh, supply voltage on the laser because I don't have any uh, laser on off time management in my software yet. Um, for a start, this is it. Once again, apologies for the <laughs> slightly strange looking picture, but um, the uh, the ultraviolet of the laser is uh, very likely to damage the sensor of the camera, and I don't want that to happen. Um, me, I'm uh, actually wearing these these goggles here. Um, if you're going to work with lasers, I strongly suggest uh, you get some of your own. They're not really cheap, but um, uh, it beats losing your eyesight. Um, I believe any minute now this thing should start drawing lines, so that's why I'm still holding on to this
the whole setup is very very good I'm really happy with the thing I'm actually preparing uh, to release uh, the first parts of the table and uh, the X and the Y axis so other people can have a go at building these things it would really be cool if they would if it would start drawing some lines anytime soon now <laughs> Basically, I can can't see anything through my goggles, and I suspect that the camera sees almost as little as I do. Oops, this doesn't look good. We're getting too close to the edge here. So, um. It appears as if this will not be the last attempt, but uh, I will have to recoat this once more. But I'm gonna let it draw some lines on there. Here we go. Oh, well, this looks interesting, doesn't it? When I did this before, I noticed that it has a real wicked smell coming off it. So. I'm going to be stopping this recording now. But, this is uh, a report that it actually works. You can even see this line that it's drawing. I can't really... There are a lot of scratches in that PCB because I used it with the, with the pen and chisel. But, uh, looks quite interesting and when I'm using the, um, the laser the line width is uh, is okay I guess for etching it I'll find out so for now thanks for watching and bye bye hello again and uh, welcome back I actually stopped the process of making this PCB because um, I'm running into problems. As you can see, I have this very small issue with backlash, um, which turns into a real problem when you have these 45 degrees line, 45 degree lines, um, where the amount of uh, um, of copper that is supposed to conduct is just too small. I can't. That won't work. Um, I'm gonna have to find a way to um, uh, accommodate for that backlash. But as you can see, the uh, the laser does a very fine job of uh, of generating lines on here. It looks very very good. This is really nice. So um, I gotta have, I'm gonna have to find a way to uh, to eliminate that backlash and uh, well try again. Again, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.